Greetings y'all. I am going to do a quick video today. I know you haven't seen one from me in a very, very long time, but I'm gearing up to potentially do some more. I cannot promise the frequency though. But today's video is going to be a little bit on a sewing area makeover that I did last weekend. I was having trouble with, ever since our move, finding the right location and then once I got my sewing up here to my bedroom, I kept having problems with everything being all over the desk and it was driving me nuts. When you're trying to work and everything's all over the work surface, it just doesn't work. So I got out the wood and the drill and the impact driver and various other things and made some shelves here on the wall in front of me and I'm going to turn around and show you what I did. So here is my sewing desk as it is. It's just a plain old um, you know, a folding table from Sam's. I've had it for years. Over here to my right are some cheapy um, just drawers and stuff like what is like five ten dollars or something from Walmart each. There we have these. I've had these for years. Those are like craft bins from Walmart and I think they're about five bucks each but I turn them sideways and use them as shelves. Of course the thread wax racks can't talk also from Wally World. The new part to me is this right here. I made these shelves last weekend. I don't know if you can see but that's a shop light that's hanging there and then those shelves up there. The shelves up there are wood from Menards. Each shelf was about seven bucks plus the supports were a buck each. Baskets from the thrift store holding various um, elastics and laces, things like that. Um, lighting wise, the shop light is new. And I only put that up last weekend because I was using this ring light here that's on this extension. This is okay, but the biggest problem I have with it is it whacks my serger thread when I've got my serger pulled forward. So that's kind of annoying. So that might come out, or at very least, stay extended up there very high for now. So it's out of the way. Its bonus is, is it does have a magnifier on it, which is nice. Occasionally that can be useful. Honestly, we use that more for, like, if someone's got a splinter in their hand than sewing. Um, over here, these bins really aren't sewing related. I am in our bedroom, in our master bedroom. So they just have various... Um, oddities in them. Honestly, they really need organized. Up there on top of all that, um, it's a, a bin of old coverings and stuff there. Up there on top is where my iron is and you know, over to the left I have my ironing board because ironing is very important when you're sewing. The part that I found kind of cool and I was proud of myself were these little wood pieces here. These wood pieces are about one by one in their depth like from front to back and their little top to bottom. Overall length, they're, I don't know, probably about a foot and a half or so long. What those are from is last fall, we here at our house needed to redo our porch steps and I learned how to use tools to do this. I'd never really used saws or anything like that, but I learned. And I took a circular saw and I ripped the length of some one by sixes for some of the railings that we have out front and I ended up needing to trim them down because they were just a little bit too wide. So I ended up having these pieces that were the off trim. So I took those and I whacked them in half and then I drove a bunch of nails in so I could hang my sewing machine feet because I change my feet all of the time when I'm sewing. Even on one item, I may change my feet like five, ten times. I do it a lot. I really, really like my sewing machine feet, particularly ones like this right here. Um, my number five blind and hammer. I actually don't really use it for blind hemming that much once in a while. Mostly I use it for really close top stitching, but I use that foot. I use this walking foot a ton and um, the number one main general purpose foot. I'm always, always using these things. So to be able to have that really close by and displayed for me worked good. That's like a thread waste bin. That is thread. I actually probably will start putting that 
up here on this shelf, I have my bobbins up there, sewing machine oil, a few other little things like needles, all those are down there. And here on the table, I can either leave my scissors down or I can come over here and pop it on these hooks if I want them out of the way. Probably that's the main thing I really need there are pins. And I did just recently pick up a new magnetic cushion. I used to have one of those and I found it helpful but kind of missed it. So grabbed another one of those. I do like using just a standard pin tomato. And then this I use that constantly so it kind of has been laying here. Though I did create a place for it up here to just hang if I want it out of the way. Sorry the camera work if it's making you seasick or anything. But offhand, that's what I did. And I also have started pushing my machines back and only sliding the one forward that I am using. Predominantly because I find that I need some table to the left of them to kind of help support the weight of the fabric of whatever I'm doing. But offhand, that's kind of the general makeover of my sewing area. I really don't have a lot of before pictures or anything. I took a couple shots of pictures that I will probably insert into the video of what this area was looking like before I did it and I will show you those. Okay, you're back looking at me. So hopefully the insert of the pictures went okay into my video editing, which I'm probably pretty rusty on. I haven't done that in a while. But pretty much that's the general makeup of my sewing area now. When we first moved in, I actually had my sewing area downstairs and I had it near what I call my birding window where I look out the window and watch all my beautiful birds because I really, really like backyard birding. The inherent problem I have there is the birds are so distracting because I just want to stop and watch them. I don't get much done. And problem number two came when in the fall we finally decided to go and adopt some kitty cats. So we have three cats now. Um, we started off with four, but one of them unfortunately passed away on Christmas Eve. But we have the three kitties. And the three kitties really love that birding window too. And they love to see it right in front of it. So they were pretty much living on the sewing desk where it was, knocking stuff over, messing with my serger threading, and you can imagine, it was kind of creating a problem. So between that and the fact that it was distracting for me, I'm like, you know, I really need to move it. So I decided to bring it up here into our master bedroom. We had a, a wall that was relatively empty, not being used. And while it was nice to have the room not very crowded, it's just better to have my stuff up here out of the way. The nice thing is, is, is when I take the notion to sew, I can come up here, flip on the TV, listen to something, um, YouTube, audiobook, or any number of things, an old movie. Um, and that's nice. I, I enjoy that, and I can just listen while I work. And it's also kind of the quiet spot to come if I make a mess when I sew, which I admit I'm a messy sewer. I'm really, really bad at it today terrible we won't talk about how bad it really is but if I make a mess I can shut the door and it's not really out in the front of everybody to see it who comes in our front door which since we moved here we have a lot more people who stop by more than we've had and I don't know when um, neighbor kids and all sorts of things neighbors will stop by and knock for various reasons so anyway at least this is out of the way it's out of sight and if as I go on my mad creations and whatnot if I do get to be a bit too messy and haven't got to clean it up yet then I can have it just kind of safely out of sight and out of mind though I admit freely sewing is much more pleasurable if you keep your area tidy and clean much more so I am trying for what it's worth I just tend to get into a groove and then go like mad at it so Anyway, that's all I want to show you guys today. I wanted to spread the idea that I had about the sewing feet. That was the big thing for me. I mean, most people have shelves up, right? But the little board that I put up for the sewing feet, I'm really, really digging that. So, hope that gives you guys an idea if you have a sewing area and maybe you can fix yours up in a similar or creative way. If you guys have other ideas, totally would love to hear them down below. Have a blessed day, you guys.